In this video, we will discuss the problem counts, zeros, zor pairs. So the problem says that you will be given an array which will consist of n numbers. And what you have to do is you have to find pairs of i, comma j such that r of i, zor, r of j is equal to zero and i is not equal to j, right? So like let's say this particular array. So if I've been given this array, so I can easily observe that one zor one will give me zero and four zor four will give me zero, right? So total how many count? Count is equal to two. Why? Because there are two such type of pairs, right? Because one and one is making one pair and then four and four is making another pair, right? So how can I do this? So basically this, this is the property of zor. If I have a bit as one, if I zor it with zero, so I get one, right? If I have a bit as zero, I zor it with one, so I get one. If I have a bit as one and I zor it with one, so same bit, zor with same bit, I get what? Zero. If I have a bit as zero and I zor it with zero, so what do I get? I get zero, right? So this is the important part that whenever the bits are same and I zor them, so I get zero. So ultimately that's how I can get the number is zero. So basically I will be getting the zor as zero only when the numbers will be the same. So let's say if I number is three, so three is what one zero one. If I zor, uh, if I do three zor three, so that is nothing but one zero one zor one zero one, and I'm gonna get one one zero. Then zero zero will give me zero, and one one is zeros because I'm doing the zor operation, right? So that's how I can get it. So basically, if we'll try to see, so the answer depends on nothing but the count of similar elements, right? And how is that, sir? So let's say if I have been given three ones, right? If I was given three ones. So how many pairs I'm going to make? So basically num number of uh, similar elements are given to be three and in one moment I can choose two, right? So that's why I'll use the concept of NCR, right? So this is nothing but three C2 because the total number of ones are nothing but three and out of them I have to choose two, right? So this is how I will be doing it. Let's say if a total N uh, number of ones were occurring. So in that case, I will choose NC2, right? And that's nothing but N into N minus one by two, right? Because I'll be either choosing this two, this two, or this two, this two, or this two, this two, right? So that's how I'll be choosing. So basically that's nothing but NCR and in simple terms it's NC2 because uh, if the number of uh, occurrences of a particular similar element is N, then in that case uh, I have to choose only two elements, right? So that's going to be nothing but N into N minus one divided by two. Now the simple approach to do this question could be using the map, right? So what I can do is like if I have this uh, given array, as uh, this. So what I can do is I can count in a map like occurrences of every element. So one will be occurring one time, three will be occurring one, uh, one will be occurring two times, three will be occurring one time and four will occur two times, right? So after that, what I can do is whichever element has the frequency greater than one. So for that, what I'll do is I'll multiply its frequency, right? Frequency, it's whatever its frequency is, that is i dot second frequency, uh, frequency minus one, that is n into n minus one divided by two, right? So I'll keep on adding this particular sum into my final answer. Let's try and quickly implement it through the map approach. So what I would be doing is basically, first of all, I'll declare an unordered map, right? Uh, unordered map of int comma int, right? And then what I'll do is I'll uh, simply have a count as well, or you can say answer, a uh, long, long int answer, right? And in this uh, answer, I'll be storing all the pairs, right? Or I'll be storing total answer, right? So int i starts from zero, i is gonna be lesser than n, and I'll do i plus plus. So simply I'll iterate through all the elements of this particular given array. And after that, what I'll do is I'll simply increment them its frequency in the map, right? So map of a of i plus plus. Once I've done this, so what I'll do is I'll iterate through all the keys of the map. So int auto i is to map, right? After that, what I'll do is I'll check if i dot second, right? If i dot second is greater than one. So if the frequency of a particular element, uh, let's say one is occurring more number of times, let's say three is occurring more number of times, greater than one time. So in that case, I need to add this. So I'll do answer plus is equal to nothing but i dot second, answer plus is equal to i dot second into i dot second minus one, that is n into n minus one divided by two, right? So I'll keep on adding. And after this computation is over, so what I'll do is I'll simply return the answer. Let's try and quickly compile and see whether this approach works or not on the sample test cases. So it seems to work on the samples. Let's try and submit it. 
So you can see that uh, this particular approach using the map that is counting the frequencies using the map and uh, then uh, doing answer plus is equal to i dot second into i dot second minus one divided by two that is nothing but n into n minus one divided by two works right. But there's another optimal approach for solving this particular problem without using any extra space right. So what you can uh, do is let's say you have been given these elements right. So you have been given let's say one then you have been given three then you have been given let's say one then four and then let's say four right. So what you can do is you can club all the numbers together, right? So you can basically do what you can sort all the numbers. So once you sort, so what does it become? One, one, then three, and then four and four, right? So once you have sorted it, so what you can do is you can start running from the index i is equal to one, right? So this is nothing but i is equal to one. This is index zero. This is one. This is two. This is three. This is four, right? So you can start running from this index, and you can check if the ith element, right? You can start running from i is equal to one, for i is equal to one, and i is lesser than n, and i plus plus. And what you can do is if uh, r of i is equal to r of i minus 1. So if the current element is equal to the previous element, so you would simply do count plus plus. And the moment this part is done, the moment an element gets different, so suppose this uh, this is your i and this is i minus 1. So in that case, it will get different. So, right, so the moment it gets different, so you have the 1's frequency stored as 2, right? So the count of 1 is 2. So what you do is, again, you do nothing but answer plus is equal to count into count minus 1 and then divided by 2, right? And after you have done this, so you simply change your count's frequency to 1. You change your count is equal to 1 for the next element, right? So that's how you can implement it. Let's try and quickly uh, implement the code using the sorting approach as well. So what I will be doing is, like I'll be given the array. So first of all, I'll sort the array, a comma, uh, a plus n. I'll sort it in ascending order. Once I've sorted it, so once I've sorted the array, so what I would be doing is, I've, once I've sorted the array, so I'll have uh, int count. So count will be nothing but initialized to zero. And I also have a long, long uh, int uh, answer that will be also initialized to zero. Then what I'll do is once I've sorted it, so I'll start from the index i is equal to one. And i is going to be lesser than n, right? I will start from one, i is going to be lesser than n, and i plus plus. And what I'll do is if uh, a of i, right? So initially, if I want, so I can also make the counter as one, right? Because I'm taking the uh, index i is equal to 1, so I can take the counter as 1. If a of i is equal to equal to a of i minus 1, if the current element is equal to the previous element, in that case, I'll keep on incrementing the counter of this particular element, right? And once I've done this part, so once I come out of this part, once this particular element has been processed, so what I'll do is I'll do answer plus is equal to, answer plus is equal to nothing but uh, count, right? Count into count minus 1 divided by 2 that is nothing but n into n minus 1 divided by 2 now for the next element i'll again mark my count as 1 right and after this part is done so i'll not directly return the answer because there's one more thing the thing is that let's suppose uh, i have 1 1 and then i have what i have let's say 3 and i have 4 and 4 right so what will happen like my here my count will be 1 for this particular element right and here for this particular element um, my count will become 2 for for 1 for 4 right but the moment my count becomes 2, so this loop gets over, right? And I never uh, come to the else part. So for that, what I'll be doing is once I come out of this loop, once my iteration, overall iteration is over, so I only this much part, like only one pair will be counted. So I need to count this kind of pair as well. So that's why what I'll do is once I come out of the loop, so I'll do answer plus is equal to count into count uh, minus 1 and then divided by 2, right? So this is what I'm going, going, going to do. Let's try and quickly write this part as well. So basically that means that answer plus is equal to nothing but count into count minus one and then divided by two, right? I'll take this in brackets and in the end, after this computation is done, so I can simply return the answer, right? So that will tell me all for all such pairs. Let's try and quickly compile and see whether this sorting approach works or not. So it seems to work on the samples. Let's try and submit it. So you can see that uh, this problem got accepted. So basically you can do it using brute force as well as you can apply the map method and if you want to do it without extra space so you can apply the sorting approach in n login and you can count all such pairs. Thank you.